G'day viewers, uh, you know, this is the first uh, video for 2023. Uh, I hope everyone uh, had a good uh, yeah, end of last year, 2022. And um, just to let everyone know that I just press play and record and uh, I don't bother editing and so forth, so anything like that. So I just press play um, or record and um, see how it goes from there. So. Um, Today I was just going to talk about uh, this uh, diff, it's a, it's a V8 uh, banjo diff which is going to be going into the HK Kingswood which I've decided I'm going this way then instead of the 9 inch um, diff. Um, I have a 9 inch diff in the shed here that, <coughs> excuse me, um, that um, is a standard width one that was going to go in it, but I've decided to keep it all holding in the 327, the, the Bower Glide, and the um, the Banjo Diff uh, V8s, which came out of a, a guy who was wrecking a 307 um, Prem, a factory 307 Premier HK. So I got the tail shaft and the uh, diff from him, and um, after doing some research. Um, all HK early Monaros actually came out with these these uh, uh, V8 banjo diffs. So um, it was actually an option to get the Salisbury diff, but um, I'm pretty sure after that, in the HT and G, it was, um, unless it was a six cylinder, I guess, was a uh, factory uh, Salisbury diff. Um, but look, this car is not gonna be doing burnouts, it's just a cruiser, so. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I'm doing some history um, on these diffs. Um, they came factory, the HK Monaros, with um, a slightly bigger yoke, a 278 ratio. If you wanted a 336 or 308 ratio, you had to actually pay more on top of that. Um, it's actually an LSD. Uh, there is actually a tag on the, um, the plug there on the back of the housing that uh, indicates also it's an LSD and I'll also show you as well that um, once turning the yoke that you can see that both wheels turn the same way which indicates usually it's an LSD as well. Um, so and I actually have seen the 278 ratio stamped on the front of the um, of the, the or behind the, the uh, yoke there so so yeah, the plans with this is, I thought I'd just do basically, this is a part one um, of how it is, how I got it. Um, so this is going to be cleaned up, stripped stripped down, painted, new oil, new, new wheel cylinders, new brake shoes, new brake lines, um, new brake hose. Um, the bump stops I'll probably grab off the banjo, six cylinder banjo when I pull that out of the HK. Um, obviously new oil, new gaskets, um, and there's new unis going in the tail shaft. Uh, that'll be all painted up as well. And these, I found out as well that the tail shaft, they actually, if you notice, they, you can't see it on this one, unfortunately, but they do have markings, paint markings, if you've ever seen that on tail shafts, which was interesting. It indicates, um, you know, what sort of car it was going into, what what diff, what motor, that sort of thing. It, it was all, a, you know, a paint coated thing for uh, on the assembly line. So um, they also came with the slightly bigger drums. That you, if you can also see, there's like sort of like fins, but yeah, they're uh, um, yeah, diff, certainly different than the um, the better cooling, obviously. But and the other thing is, uh, yeah, some new spring saddles and they run also a coarse spline axle, not a fine spline as the six cylinders. So it's a coarse spline axle. Once I, uh, in part two, once I start pulling it down and stripping it, ready for painting and, and um, retailing the whole thing, I'll, I'll do a part two on that video as well. So I'll just, I'll grab the, the camera now and I'll just go show you some close ups of the, uh, the stamped ratio and the um, the plate that indicates that it is a um, LSD um, diff as well. I know anyone can put a tag on a, on a plug, as you're probably saying, or whatever, but um, and I'll also spin it to, so, to show you that uh, that the drums are going the same way, as I say, to indicate a, um, 
and LSD did. So, yeah, we just wanted to try and keep it all holding. Um, sort of not, not too much of very, very little bling under the bonnet, if anything. Um, but I'll go over that in another video. So, um, yeah, like I say, if, you, if you're liking the content, sorry it's taken a while to, to get uh, something going this year already because this far it's uh we're already into march in a couple of days so um it was good today i took the panel van for a spin and picked up the daughter from school and um she was quite wrapped uh, to see that so it was good to get that out of the cruise um yeah so it was it's been pretty hot lately so it's, it was good to get it out i'll just um show you a couple of things closely close up with it so firstly, the um, as I was saying, the uh, the tag that actually says um, probably a bit hard to read if it does focus on it. It does just say on the top there limited slip diff and just the the oil to use on that. So yeah, she's um, obviously the brake bleeders have, have broken off on the on the wheel cylinders there at both ends and and um, so and good to get some new wheel cylinders on there anyway. Um, yeah, and the ratio is stamped, as I was saying, whether it'll focus in with that too. Uh, where is that? It's around, uh, there. Sorry, just trying. It's going to probably be a little bit upside down, but, uh, yeah, just trying to zoom in on, uh, 278 if you can make that out. Um, sorry, it's just a bit, uh. Hard to get in there, but you can see it there. You can certainly see the remnants of a two two point seven. Anyway, so as I was saying, um, obviously spinning spinning the diff the yoke. I'll spin it clockwise. And as you can see, the drums going that way, and the drums going that way as well. So as I was saying, yeah. Gives you a good indication that it is an LSD, and let's hope that the gears are, are good in there. And and um, yeah, we'll go from there and get it ready to put in. So um, thanks uh, once again. If you do like the content, um, like, like, and subscribe. And um, yeah, hopefully uh, I'll, I'll get to part two. Uh, soon soon as on this so after taking this uh video of it i can i can start getting into it so all right thanks guys take care